Hi, and welcome to Top Solid 7. In this video, we're going to take a look at the new Top Solid sheet metal manufacturing application. To begin with, I'm going to start by just opening a simple sheet metal part. In this case, I'm keeping the sample simple. I'm not starting with any type of bent shape. However, you could use Top Solid sheet metal to calculate the flat pattern and then continue on to manufacturing of that flat pattern after. So in this case, I'm going to start with this simple plate. To begin with, I'm going to send this to a sheet metal CAM document. Now, like all things top solid, we're very specific about our document types for the type of work we're doing. So in this case, I'm going to be working on a Mazak Prima Power laser. Let's go ahead and green check mark that, and now we'll move on to the positioning of the part. Now, to begin with, I'm going to take that face there, and I'm going to toss it on the table right there. And for what we're using this for, that's probably good enough. I'm going to go ahead and validate my positioning. Now, like all things laser related, it needs to know power settings and so on. So that's what this little red dot's telling you. It's saying, hey, you know what? You kind of forgot something. So I'm going to come in here and say that I'm cutting steel and, you know, using that setting. Perfect. Like that, now I can go ahead and start making the program. So to make the program and make it a little bit easier to see, I'm going to turn off the machine for the moment. And I'm going to simply right mouse button click and go to profile cutting. When I go to profile cutting, of course, I need to go to my power settings here and I need to force the cutting conditions. So we'll come in here and I'm going to choose which cutting conditions I want to use. Perfect. And now next, I want to go ahead and set my geometries. And I'm just going to start selecting the geometries in the order that I want to cut them. Now you could window select as well, but I like to make sure that things are being cut in the order that makes sense to me and you can see the direction of cut, you can see how everything is being machined. After that, green check mark, and we have a basic simulation of the cut. Now, you can, of course, because it's top solid, also choose to turn on the full machine, and we can see the whole machine come in, do its thing. So this is just a quick sample of how simple it is to create a program for a laser machine or a water jet or plasma machine, we can drive all of them within this new manufacturing process. In this next step of exploring the sheet metal manufacturing within Top Solid, we're going to take a look at nesting. Now, to nest inside a Top Solid sheet metal machining, we do things a little bit differently. We start by first programming each part, okay? And you saw in the previous step how fast and simple it was to program this little plate. And the reason we do it that way is because that way you can run single parts or you can use that same programming for nesting. Let's take a look at how that works. First thing that I'm going to point out is I have another document here created. This represents the piece of material that I'm going to nest within. So now I'm going to go to my nesting folder. I'm going to right click create a new document and I'm going to go to advanced and select nesting. Now that I'm in a nesting document, I'm going to go ahead and prepare my nesting. So this one's called nesting three. This is the third nesting I'm doing. I'm going to call this uh, whatever it is. Maybe this is op one. You can name them as you want. I'm going to come up here to the nesting tab and choose automatic nesting. And to begin with, it wants to know what are the part documents that I want to nest. So I'm going to come into here, shift select everything, and just use the power of windows to drag and drop those cam files into this document. From there, I'm going to set the quantity I want for each. So maybe for the cover, I want to have 50, right? Maybe for the L support, I want to have 50. And maybe for the plate, I want to have 20. Perfect. You could even set a priority to them. If they're all set to the same priority, that means you want to nest all of them. But if this one is more important, you want that to be a 1, this to be a 2, and so forth, so on. Okay? Next, I'm going to go to my supports. This is the blank that I'm going to cut all these parts out of. I'm going to grab that drag and drop it in. Notice I have my border gaps included in there. That's fine. If we look at strategy, this is where we can choose how we're doing our packing from what direction we want to nest from. Okay. Um, we can tell it how many processors to use. If this is going to be a really complex nesting and you want to do other work in the background, fill out your you know, purchasing documents, whatever, you might not want to use all the processing power of your computer. So you can come in here and say, okay, you have eight cores. Maybe we want to only use four of those. Kind of cool. Next, if I go to my options, I can set my final options. And most importantly, I can choose what type of nesting document I want to create. 
I want to create a nested sheet metal cam document and more importantly I want to use my same machine. Like that I'm just going to go ahead and hit the green check mark and now Top Solid is going to do its job and it's going to nest all of those parts within that blank document as well as create for me the final sheet metal machining document. Should be done here in just a second. And like that, that is how many documents or how many parts it could fit in this nesting. Now, it looks like we got 48 of the covers and 11 of the plates. So maybe I was a little bit overzealous when it came to doing this. Okay, but no big deal. We can always go back and edit this. We can come in and say, okay, well, you know what? Maybe covers, let's try 10. Let's leave the plates at 20 here and let's leave our L supports at 50. And up here you have a choice of recomputing or completely starting again. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and just recompute, but with my new numbers. So 10 covers, 20 plates, 50 supports. Let's see what happens. So now it's calculating, and here is the final result it looks like. And now it looks like we are able to fit everything we wanted into that nesting document. Now, this is just the nesting document. If I expand this, this is the machining document that was created in the background. We'll let that go ahead and open, and I'll run the simulation on that. And you can see that we've taken the as program parts, nested them together into our sheet, prepared the manufacturing document, and now we're just ready to post-process. It's kind of cool, actually. Okay, here's the manufacturing document. And if we go in here and we select some of these and we choose simulate, you can see that the software has done a great job. If I zoom up on this, the machine I'm running on happens to be a five axis machine, but that's okay. You can use it in five axis, you can use it in simple two and a half axis like this as well. Pretty cool.